Welcome back to the bumper breakfast. I'm trying as much as possible to be as calm and uh, mm, let me be calm, let me be calm, let me be calm. You know why? Because I'm about to um, break some tables this morning. I know a lot of people are going to come for me for this topic uh, today, but of course, that wouldn't make us not talk about it. If it uh, deserves mention, we definitely have to mention it. We're talking about the nudity trend. And we have a man's perspective. Is it fashion or folly? I have Jumoke Michaels joining us this morning. A special colleague, a senior colleague in the business. She's a broadcaster. Thank Beautiful. you for having me. She's morning. always wearing a natural. <laughs> People don't know. What she's wearing her hair right now is a natural hair. It's amazing. And this is the only one. I was just going to that anyway. Mm. You see, my dad's one. I was always there. I'm not saying you're that thing. If you heard me, you heard me. If you didn't, don't worry, forget it. <laughs> and of course, uh, the man, you know, <laughs> smiling and uh, chuckling on the table today. <laughs> Mr. Valentine, Monique Gabriel is right here. He's a politician and an entrepreneur and the co convener of the Green Alliance Movement. Good morning. Good to have you here. Good morning. Thank you for mm -hmm. having me. Good morning, Nigerians. So we're going to do a very quick test. I, I want you guys to kind of like, you know, check it out this morning um where's she from where are you from because this is valentine Greba, this is jumoke michaels so you already know that she's jumoke mm -hmm. michaels but, yeah. but but where's she from really can michael. we do the test uh, where do you think she's from? In, from as in the state we're from mm -hmm. she's in mm -hmm. nigeria well, i'm a nigerian but um, i'm from kogi state you're supposed to guess his own, not telling your own. <laughs> oh, guess his own. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no problem. Since I've already given him the giving him to <laughs> let's explain. Just his own. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So just tell us. Yeah, I'm from, from the heartbeat of the yeah. nation. Are you from Kogi State? Edo State. <laughs> Edo State. All right. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm from the heartbeat of the nation. The heartbeat uh, of the nation. Uh, <laughs> the place where you are barricading the express <laughs> right now. <laughs> You guys have decided to barricade our express and stop us from going to be in. Anyway, we hit the ground running with the conversation this morning. And I want to begin with Valentine because it all comes down to the man's perspective. I've tried as much as possible to have this conversation on social media. Contributor from time to time to ask questions. And people always say, oh, I'm not doing it for the man. Oh, but my man, it always comes down to, my man appreciates it. Oh, my man loves it. So Valentine, please. Tell us, um, Jumoke is covered everywhere. I'm covered everywhere. And tell us, please tell us, what is wrong with us? Well, it, it, I, I mean, um, what is it with you men and this appreciation for nudity? Well, um, you see, nudity for me, it's, a, it's an age-long tradition. It's something that I've been there before time. I think it's now more pro pronounced because of social media. It's always been there. Do you understand that before the Neolithic uh, era, which is the later part of the Stone Age into civilization, it has always been there. And if you, there are some societies in the world that they still practice it. Uh, do you understand? So, but like you said, um, from the man perspective, for me, I don't, for me as a person now, um, nudity for me is not fashionable. But of course, you have some men that they religiously love it, and you can't hold them against it. Of course, I, I like the book, the way you use the word religiously. Religiously, though. yes, wow. yes. Do you understand it? So you see, I think it's a, it's a thing of preference and choice. Hmm. You know. So you're telling me that there, there are actually men who like their women, absolutely, their yes. wives, whether it's one or two or three or four, yeah, being half nude, half naked, oh, or, uh, or showing almost all of the cleavage, absolutely, popping out like. Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yes. There are men who love there are, Yeah, of course, yes. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Funny, but that's the truth. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. You that's agree there are men who love it. There are men who love it. There are men who want everything showing, you know. Because I, I, I think... I'm not talking about the side chicks. Jumoke, are you saying... I'm talking about the wives. Oh, the really? women in the house. Yes. Yes. Okay. Their husbands actually encourage them to dress like that. You find out that there are some women who are not comfortable with that kind of dressing, but because of their husbands, they, they, they go ahead and do it. So that is just true. Are you saying <laughs> the men are the problem? Really? No, not really no. that the men are the problem, but they are just men who like it. Okay. They skimpier what you wear. 
the better for them. There are, men, the there, ones, there are some women who, when going out with their husband, have to look that way. Mm. But most sometimes when you see them on their own, they are not dressed that way. So you didn't ask the question. <laughs> what? So you, you, you've met women like that? Absolutely, yes. He's a guy, he knows, he has <laughs> friends. I'm sure he has friends <laughs> who, who, who are thrilled by that kind oh, of person. Are they showing off to you guys, the other guys, their friends? No, no, no. I, I, I think it's, it, it has to do more with um, orientation and how people are wired. Like I said, for, for someone like me, I don't see it fashionable, but I don't encourage it. I won't even find to flame the people that are engaged in such. Do you understand? But you see some guys, they even would. Uh, no, you see that dress, I don't want it. Go and, yeah. go and change it. Yes. You, there, there are men that even would give their wives money for, to go and have all manners of surgery. Yeah. Just to look, you understand it. So like I said, you can't hold them against it. It's what they want, it's what they prefer. And it's what they desire. It's what they desire. So they interpret their desire by compelling their wives to. Okay, now because the wife doesn't want to lose them to the side chick, yeah. so she has to like. No, it's not necessarily about losing to side chicks or not. Even some, you know, the, the truth is this: the first thing first is if you are my partner, and this is what I want, and you also want it, not like I'm compelling you mm. or I'm forcing you to do it against your will. Mm. Do you know, I think we need to get that straight. And a lot of women, you know, because of the, the we, we live in the jet age, and whether you will like it or not, it has come to stay. Is it is is a norm? And a lot of times, see the way I'm looking at you. Oh <laughs> yes, oh yes. Did you just say it has come to stay? Yes. What are you going to do? Look at your look at your TV screens. Look at your musical videos and all that. Oh, no bless you. You see the depiction of nudity in every musical content. Now. But my problem is why is it the girls that are nude no. who dress our like boys? They are like covered everywhere. They're wearing the shorts, the socks, the trainers, the t-shirt. And then we dress our girls, they're wearing one bum shot. A two-year-old child goes for a birthday party. The skimpier the bum shot, the better for the mother. I and I'm saying, even if your husband wants you to wear it, what is it with the little innocent human being mm. that God has I, just committed into your hands? I, I think that's where, that's where I have a problem. I would not support, I would not encourage, and I would not um, uh, give a nod to that. You don't... Um, we, we, I, I think again it has to do with min, min, min linear parenting. Ah, well, I would just say that uh, this issue of nudity, uh, nudity is uh, actually defined as a state of being without Cloth. clothing. Yeah. So I prefer that we address it as partial nudity. Oh, okay. So my director can just put that partial, yeah, partial in front of the nudity. nudity. Yeah, because mm. if we talk about nudity, we are talking about completely Little being without clothing. Clothing, yeah. Okay. So let's use partial cloth uh, nudity of being half naked. Mm. Okay, Sex the name nudity. of fashion. Yeah, mm. yeah because uh, partial nudity is all about not covering your genital areas. Areas. P mm. Places in your body that showcase your sexual organs or things that will suggest sexuality. Your breast, your buttocks, your thighs, you know, your midriff midriff yeah you know all those places that suggest sexuality hmm. and you know the truth is that i feel so sorry for men while they are driving <laughs> this <laughs> i wonder how do these men cope because you see the buttocks you see the cleavages and the bigger the better. The big, these days is the bigger <laughs> the better. Because there are so many kinds of enhancements. They're doing the elbow, they're doing the pill, they're exactly. doing the surgery, they're doing the surgery. But for me, I see all this as a kind of self, lack of self-esteem. Yeah. Low self-esteem. Mm. Low self-respect. Mm. These days we have so many big children who are mothers. Mm. They are still children. Mm. Because if you are a woman who has self-respect, self-esteem, value, values for yourself, for yourself, you will not transfer this to little babies. Can you see what they are doing? I went for um, end of the year party. All oh, invited. Uh, and this little girl was, they were meant to dress in their traditional attire. And all the things that the mother could dress her in. The wrapper, hmm. the wrapper. 
God forgive me, was as tiny as the, the, the line at the bottom of that baby's buttocks. Hmm. That was how short the rapper was. She's not more than a four-year-old. And you know, they grow up with and that. The mother tied something on her chest. The mother wore a crown on her head. And you know, the girl thing. And then they fixed nails for the children, put lashes for little children. What are you pushing them to? At that age. So, yes, you, we, we, we said the men are compelling their wives to dress like that. What is compelling the wives to sexualize their That's what I said. Babies. They don't have self-esteem. So they are transferring their lack of self-esteem into weak, little children? They are tra transferring their weaknesses into that child. Into that child. No wonder when you go... Uh, have you checked social media of late? Can, can you tell me the age group of people who do this the most? The, again, again, you see, I, I love to look at issues from the a non-conventional angle it's um in recent years you find like she said earlier on you have um mothers big, big ba babies. babies do you mm -hmm. understand it they don't even understand life mm -hmm. and if you go to social media that's where the problem it's is awesome. you see go and look at the people that even set pace for people now these are people that are badly behave or they are badly raised Mm. Yeah, quite unfortunate. And those, are, and those are the models that they have Do you adopted understand every time. It? Do you understand it? So, you see, I think the, the what should be on our list right now is how to salvage the situation as a people. It's a collective responsibility. Well, you just told us at the beginning of this show yeah. that it is it, it has come to stay. So, what are we salvaging? No, because it has come to stay it does not mean, mean yeah. you should... Do you understand? We shall because I, I have a daughter. I have a daughter that is 11. And I do, you see, you give your daughter the best of training at home to function with society. Do you understand mm. it? Yes, because it is when they are within the confines of your house that you have controls over what they do. Mm. Do you understand it? Mm. We, we saw a video that went viral in recent uh, days, mm. you know, of a young, do you understand? So it, 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 it goes to tell you that it does not end our home. The religious leaders, the political um, leaders Predators. and um, I, all of us, I, 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 we all have a responsibility. Because somebody did say yesterday that uh, one of the reasons these girls don't even go for, they have two classes of people that they go for. On social media, the person said, they are either going after the yellow boys or they are going after the politicians. And it's what seemingly appeals to them. Uh, so when they are done in the office, they want to go relax at one club. Mm -hmm. And then you go to a place like Heja City Mall and you see chill. And I mean oh, children, yeah. children under yes. the age of 18, mm. that you can tell are not more, they're not up to 18, yeah. all dressed in skimpy Skin things, hanging around the entire mall. And I'm saying this is prostitution that has become. It, it, again, whether, whether we want to believe it or not, we're all part of the problem. Mm -hmm. We enable them, we encourage it. Oh, yes, we do. Do you understand? Huh. You see, the, the truth is this when you look at a lot of these young ladies, there is nothing upstairs. All, all they have to flaunt is their body. their body. In fact, these days, a lot of them want to turn white. Mm. Just to have that sex appeal. Mm -hmm. And then you begin to because ask yourself. again, they say, I remember, I remember in, uh, I think it was uh, year 2014, 2015, uh, uh, former governor, Fashola Babatunde Fashola. Yeah. He, he, it was one of the laws that when you are dressed in a particular way you don't walk the streets Absolutely. i remember those days in atikeja mm. if you're not well dressed they can't and Ikeja asks, no you'll be harassed mm. you'll be picked up, you'll be picked up. Mm. you understand but for a time they now it's abuse have... they'll say it's abuse yeah. of power because We've i know that of things i don't like that replicated that in yes. state we have not been hearing of things like that where people who are not well dressed are being reprimanded or being cautioned isn't you that know, they just get a of human rights and then sometimes you have to even stop on the road and ask are you okay <laughs> <laughs> oh i do that a lot my husband also does that a lot yeah, yeah. so did your mother do. see you before you left home no do you have you know mind? we need more people like that Absolutely. Mm. we will make these girls uncomfortable mm -hmm. Hmm. We need more people like that. I don't know if they will call it ab uh, abuse of right of um, 
dressing. <laughs> I mean, you know, because I mean, everything now has to do with abuse. So, is there yeah, exactly. Or the other. But is there a right to dress a right to dress in our constitution? <laughs> Because I think it should be a constitutional <laughs> thing. <laughs> Maybe I should call my friend as a lawyer. I'm sure you want to. Before you talk too much, they'll tell you that uh, he's, uh, you're abusing someone's right. Yeah, I think there's a there's a need to, for us to be able to draw the line. Where do we draw the line? Where do, do we you mean draw the line? We should draw the line. I see this on social. But you know that this thing is very prevalent here in the southwest, south oh, yes. east, oh, yes. south south, especially in the south. In yeah. the north, you don't find things like, like this, this. Yeah. and that's because they say they are more religious. It's not because their ladies are safe. The, the religious values, the moral values, are still esteemed highly esteemed in the north in the north even if it is extreme in some cases uh, please let's leave that so extreme now in the in the middle at least there still seems to be some form a high of level decency. of sanity, sanity and, decency, and, decency, yeah. and decency and decency but then we come yeah. to the south where we say we are the liberal set of yeah. people we you can choose any religion because let's look at it there is no religion that actually permits this Mm -hmm. that we practice in Nigeria, yeah. both the traditional, yeah. the, the Christian, yeah. or the Islam. Mm -hmm. it, it, not none permits it. So it's a matter of saying, oh, we're too religious, oh, religious sentiment, oh, it is just that you're not as liberal as you should be. Mm -hmm. And in the name of being liberal, the South, the standards yeah. have dropped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Parenting has become a problem. Um, family values. Eroded. Eroded, you're yeah. looking at decency is no longer a thing that is celebrated mm. or oh, if you're decent then that's the thing <laughs> <laughs> you look at them like uh, mm. you know now they want to inculcate and, and also it's because most of these girls don't know where to draw the line, the line. between uh showbiz and real life real life yeah so we should blame the people in the showbiz too is it blaming them? They have to do their work. They have, they to, have do to do their, their business. You know, so because some of the things they see in showbiz and entertainment, they, they bring it to real life. Yeah. Mm. Yes. They bring it to real life. And it's not supposed to be so. Mm. Because so many things we see in video, music videos or movies, somehow it's permitted. Because mm. you have to depict the you music see, you have to depict a character you know so it's something that must be done mm. but when you look at these things because they are not real and then you want to leave it in society mm. and i think that's also where the challenge is we can all right let's open up the phone lines all right so you can join the conversation this morning it's quite simple all you need to do is send an sms a whatsapp or simply call the number on your screen 0806473 0806473 let's get the conversation going tell us exactly what you think if your wife dresses your child in bomb shirts and jumper to a birthday party how would you react as a father no i have a daughter oh okay a big daughter and um that sometimes she wants to go out and I say no you are not going out with this fine you can wear it around the house mm. but not outside so how many parents do we still have who look at their children their daughters okay it's the girls anyway who look at their daughters and say you can't wear this out mm. it's too short it's mm. too tight mm. you understand so how many parents do we still have doing that today that responsibility is a very big question you have a daughter you said earlier yeah. this one says good morning um ladies and gentlemen all right let me take a phone call first all right good morning good to join us on the bumper but first oh i forgot to say this uh, nigerians 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 whether you're calling from ghana togo wherever you're calling from across the country this is what you do for me your name where you're calling from as quickly as possible you'll have 30 seconds to tell us what you want to tell us but you know what you'll do for me turn down the volume of your tv you're speaking with your telephone and not your tv set hello good morning good morning your name and where you calling from sir my name is Olari calling from ashuri Ota. all right thank you very much for watching us now talk yeah. to me yeah i just want to respond to that gentle looking man 
that he said the nudity has come to stay because the parents have been allowed. The problem starts from home. Mm. If the father and the mother does not have a standard, the children look up to them. Mm. You cannot take it away. This is what my mother does. And so the mother, the husband says, I love my wife to expose his breast. Then the daughter will come up to do that. Mm. That is where it starts from. Mm. It's a body language. Mm. Let's not sit there and say our children is just age. We are the ones that are trained. The trained mm. from the village. And we should try to guard our home. Mm. The moment the father and the mother lose that because I want to satisfy my wife, go and buy and uh, open your bread. The daughter has no other thing than to follow suit. Thank you very daughter. much. Thank you very much. All right, uh, 30 seconds. We did say you call us. You spent 30 seconds telling us exactly what you think about today's topic. So um, this one says, uh, parenting and westernization is the problem. I feel terrible when you see teenagers in revealing clothes accompanied by their parents. Please, when you send a text message, tell us where you send it from, your name, and which part of the country you're sending it from. Madam, why do we pretend we come to shout for help when the monster, uh, from the monster we willfully and knowingly created Bolan sent someone in, but you didn't tell us exactly where your message is coming from. This one says, Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Our mothers and fathers are our role model, and in the case of the mothers, the father is culpable of any sin that comes out of this nudity madness. The moment the husband allows the mother to dress nude, then the daughter picks this up automatically. Um, okay, that was the same man they just called us, Olari Wajo. All right, good morning. <laughs> I can still hear myself from your TV. Good morning. <laughs> All right. So, yes. <laughs> All right. It could be a very hard truth, mm. what he said, mm. that this issue of half nudity has come to stay. Yeah. Mm. It could be a very hard truth. But it's the truth. Because as long as we continue to have parents who have not been able to align themselves oh. with values and decent um, morals, decency self-respect mm. it has come to stay hello good morning hello good morning your name and where you calling from sir uh, my name is Kichu. i'm calling from lagos okay Chico from lagos tell us exactly what you think do you appreciate nudity in your world pasha nudity hello good morning good morning Ikechuku. your tv is still very loud we can hear ourselves from your tv Please do turn down the volume of your TV. I say again, when you call, reduce the volume of your television or walk away from there if you have other people watching and speak to us through your phone and not your television. Do you want to say something? Yeah. <clears throat> Concerning the... You see, I, 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 okay, I was going to say earlier, Rob, I have a daughter, okay? For every time I want to take them out and the brother, maybe to get bite something. You know, of course, when they are home, they have the clothes they put on. And then we want to go. And my daughter tells me, Daddy, let me go and change. I said, Really? But you are good. He said, No, no, my legs are showing. <laughs> and you see, I just will smile. It means their mother is doing a great job. Mm. At that tender age, she already knows that I don't have to expose my body. Mm. Do you understand? Which is why I said, It, it, it doesn't stop at home. Mm. Like she said earlier on, if we all come together and make these people uncomfortable on the streets, wherever they are. You stare at them and you say, are you okay? <laughs> because at, at times you begin to see it's as bad as some at times some of them come out with uh, what do you call it? You're in a, the inner where you were in the bedroom. Oh, okay. they bring it to supermarket. You know, ask yourself, is this person normal? <laughs> Even they are trunk tight. <laughs> do you understand it? You wear on How can a woman? You now wear it and wear it. Skip that, it up. They say it's biker shorts. How can a woman <laughs> wear uh, what's it called? Bossa short outside? How? I don't understand it. <laughs> and when you try to correct people, they tell you. It's none of your business. Yeah. I have a right to do what I... No, yeah. you do not have a right to because what you are doing can make the other man air. Hmm. I'm mm. so sorry for men, truly. <laughs> 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 because they are the end of... You know, they are the end of... You are the victim. You are know? the, the victim, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. You know, but it all comes down to this. Why do we pity the men so much? <laughs> have you discovered that when you had working women, who knows the value of making money? Yeah. The value of putting something on the table. 
I do not see your husband coming to ask you to dress nude in the name of following him to a party. Half because nude. he knows half nude, half, half nude. nude. Yeah. Because, because was any part of your body is covered. exposed mm. that is a, that uh, promotes sexuality. Sexuality, mm. yeah. Okay. Half nude. Half nude. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you have an um, image of your own to, you know, protect. Yeah. The man won't ask you to do that. Uh, just, I don't think. I think it's just very few men. Because we men, we are very jealous. Mm. We like to protect our wife. We like, you know, my wife is for me. Do you understand mm. it? Mm. Just very few guys. And I think they get, some of them got this orientation from, do you understand? It's not our thing. Mm. As African men. Oh, no, it's not our thing. Oh, really? Oh, yes, please. It's not. There's this story of a friend of mine that um, wanted to go out with someone else who is a woman leader. Okay, they were supposed to go to the market, to Lagos Island. And um, she was wearing these, uh, what do you call it, patch jeans mm, that shows your jeans. tight, crazy jeans crazy that yeah. shows your tight mm. and all that. And she was wearing, putting it on. And um, when the woman leader came to pick her from the house and saw what she was wearing, the woman leader said, ah, please, can you change? I'm not comfortable going with out with you. Just like this. Dressed like <laughs> this. Yeah. Now this lady knew that um, that's what her husband likes. likes. So she, she, she thought about it and said, if I go in to change, my husband will ask me why I'm changing. Mm. And um, if I tell him it's because the woman I'm going out with is not, not comfortable a... with it, he will, he will stop, stop me from going. <laughs> so she just told the woman straight, if I go in to change this, I'm not, not coming back outside, I'm not coming back out <laughs> because my husband will stop me. So they're just men. Who love it? Mm -hmm. The crazier, the crazier, the, crazier, the better. The better yeah. But hold on. Then does this man have daughters? Yes. Oh, okay. So he does daughters. he appreciate his daughters? Because the wife in question is somebody who appreciates it in his wife. wife he will appreciate it in his daughter. Daughters, that's yeah. the truth. Hey, when so that's why when he said we have a problem that looks like it has come to stay, he knows what he's saying and he's right. So then, how do we now begin to uh, change this? How, how do we begin to... Is it possible to give orientation to this? Oh, where, yes. Uh, where do we salvage it from? Yes. That's where the government, the religious leaders come in. Because you see, even in today, today, some of the religious leaders, especially some, some of these Pentecostal pastors, they pref they, they, you see people dressed half naked come to church, it's none of their business. They used to give them rappers at the entrance. Pardon? They used to no, give them no, you shouldn't give rappers. What the 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 the, the what, what you the should right do? Orientation. Go back home. Hmm. Go back home. Hmm. Do you understand it? Don't you know they preach? They tell you God is not interested in your outlook. Is no, forget it. Your outlook can make somebody like us fall. Yeah. Imagine you have naked and you are in my front. You don't want me to stand tall. Where will you? Do you understand it? <laughs> you are will look. Uh, God, I'm not blind. <laughs> Do you understand? They say you should carry your eyes away. <laughs> but how now? I don't understand. Carry your eyes away. You carry it like this. I don't so you don't look at the place. You see, you see. Especially when this is uh, white. Do what what, what is what is more important to some of these people is the congregation. I want mm. more Quite people. Mm. Then the government also have a, a, a role to play. In fact, a very major role to play. The National Orientation Agency. They should roll out programs that will address these relevant issues. Mm. Because whether we like it or not, this decadence has eaten to the deep of our existence, the fabric of our existence. And until we begin collectively. As a people. As a people. people. It's not just government. Government, let your the arm of the government that is responsible for orientation lead the way. What about that, legislating it? Uh, no, I, I, I think that well, I think that would be taking it a bit too far too because far, yeah. at the end of the day, you still come back to issue of rights. Right, human exactly. Rights. Yeah, mm. you exactly. understand. So I think, like he's saying, it's better if we take it from family to uh, our religious houses mm -hmm. to even people on the street. Yeah, mm -hmm. begin to caution some people. of these people, yeah. even if they abuse you, just tell them the truth. Hmm. In a respective manner, you know, so in a very nice way. In a very nice way, you yeah. can correct people in a very nice way. You can speak to their conscience, hmm. you know, a, 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 and again, then they will, they will, let's they will correct, collect it. Yeah. So hmm. uh, let's also not lose focus. It's not just about the girl child or the young ladies. Even yeah. the guys, 
Some guys these days they dress, you see they are what you might call it, they sag. Yeah. And the they show you their dirty boxer for that matter. Do you understand? So it's not about because when you talk about nudity. Maybe we should just buy belts for those ones. Those ones they don't have money. To buy. No, 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 it's part of the decadence. Because they see all these things as trend. Mm. This is the norm. Mm. You can't dress like that and come to my house. It's not possible now. I'm not gonna allow you. But then when such a boy comes to some people's houses to come and marry their daughter, they used to give them the daughter. Uh, that is where um, uh, good parenting bad values. Mm. Because a lot of families, they, all these things have been eroded. Hmm. And again, you know, at times, I used to have this discussion with my close friend. One of the major problems we have is, you see, it is a child that you feed, that you have control over. Hmm. That's very deep. Hmm. A lot of these young lads, go on, a lot of them are what they call the Osanli vagabonds. Mm. They have no control, no parents to control them. They do a lot of them are into Yahoo. They take money back home and the parents. That, that was, that was a video I saw two days ago of a young a boy of about 14 years old. Ritual killing. No, no ritual. Wanting to hotel. hotel. Oh, okay. At yeah. that age. About two girls. Oh, and yes. Two boys. Yeah. Two boys and two girls. At that age. I, I don't understand. Video somewhere. I have the video somewhere. And a man particularly challenged them. Yeah. I don't I understand remember. it. And the man challenged them and asked them not to. Okay. I was in my summer four year, I think the later part of my summer four year, before I, I had the liver to talk to a woman. Mm. Do you understand? But these days you see a boy that should be writing uh, perhaps what heck, yeah. going to an hotel, to do what? To, to rent the room. You know, the truth is that uh, parents actually have a lot a of lot. responsibility. Parenting needs to be something that we'll, we'll, we'll begin to talk about more. We begin to educate people more like this discussion we are having this morning like people are talking so much about domestic abuse yeah. sexual abuse and all that we need to talk this about this this is even abuse yes. of me too. we need to talk about this issue more more we need to educate people more, more. because there are even some who don't see it as as an issue as an issue yeah like so you just know yeah by the time we start talking and talking and talking mm -hmm. a lot more and more more people will get educated and will begin to change their mindset. mindset yeah. To know that society will not progress well if issues like this are not put in the right perspective. And not resolved. Yeah. I know it really scares me sometimes. Sometimes I want my kids to go out and I'm like, like I have this phobia. Mm. I, I'm almost scared what of, what, of what they will see, the kind of music they play on the street, the kind of people they will have to talk to. And you know, we really cannot exist in a place where we're talking to only ourselves. Of course. Of course. You so, can't live in isolation. The video we're talking about, my director, you now have it. You can, you can actually just uh, play it out and let uh, people see what we're talking about. It's a video of the young boy, the young lad. I think they're about 15 years old. Yeah, about... And two little girls by the legs, Seth. Because their faces would not show just the legs. You would understand what I'm talking about. Um, these lads were young. And they went to a hotel. They wanted to book you. Or do what? Because that's what they see. <laughs> Of course, that's what yes. they see. That's what they see everywhere. They continue to pattern themselves after what they see. Mm -hmm. For dressing is what they see. Yeah. Mm. Character is, is what, what they, they see. see. Yeah. Language. Language is what they see and hear. So now the average Nigerian child does not know how to speak passable English. And I'm not saying good English. Passable English. Because um, they do not hear it. Mm the kind of that's the video i'm correct right yeah that's uh -huh, the video yes. now you see this young boy you're going to look at the legs of those two young tiny girls those two can you see them hmm. like i really need to remove my glasses can, can, can you really see them <laughs> yeah it's can bad. you see how tiny they were yeah, we, we, we have a big one in our hands it, it's, it's a very sorry case it's a sorry case it's a sorry case you're talking about speaking passive english have you asked them to write? No, that's not a, that's the ah. Uh, the abbreviation. Uh, uh, sometimes I see the abbreviations <laughs> and I run away. Uh, 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 <laughs> because you just can't <laughs> with it? language. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Your name and where you calling from? Good morning. Call Katina. What's your name, please? Um, okay, you reduce the volume of your TV. Hello, you're calling from Katsina. What's your name? My name is Idris Gambo. 
Andrew, Andrew, all right. Thank you for joining us. What do you think about what we're talking about? I see my blood, you I see my blood, you Thank you. Okay, um, Idris, you need to reduce the volume of your TV first uh, before reaching out to us. Thank you so much for calling from Katsina. Chumi, mm. you said reading the language is a problem. Oh my God. <laughs> the abbreviation, everything is abbreviated. <laughs> and then you wonder, Do they like is this that? how the teachers mark their exam script? Mm. I can't get it. And then you just get this sudden headache. <laughs> Things like that, I just quickly discard. Mm. Hmm. You don't even bother to read. So it's not even just about how they dress. We're in trouble. Education. There's a big it's a serious trouble one. Serious hmm. one. challenge. Serious. We're in trouble. And um, it takes, like they say, it takes a community oh my to raise a child. In those days. Okay. Uh, so this person wrote an epistle. <laughs> this person wrote an epistle, and I want to read it because it's quite long. Good morning, presenter. I really appreciate this topic being discussed this morning. Fortunately, I was carrying out a random research on my content list yesterday about why young ladies and women expose their cleavages in a tight revealing outfit, especially at a social gathering. Few of the responses I got from my respondents indicated social media trends. Celebrity style is one of the major factors. Yeah. Now, some also identify lack of dressing etiquette by majority of ladies, while very few admitted insecurity and need for the opposite sex attention is the motive behind those dressing, which in turn makes them feel good self-esteem but one thing i noticed is that these style of dressing are rampant down south mm -hmm. compared to the north one of my interview happens to be based in the north but currently schooling here in the south attested to the fact that dressing in such outfit are very rare in the north yeah. and this has influenced our own style of dressing personally yeah just like i said so that just corroborates just what you said earlier to the south mm. Yeah. Mm. this one okay please um you didn't put your name well, you send text message just put your name so it's easy for us good morning to the anchor and discussions in fact this morning's discussion should not end like that please for god's sake the same topic was the subject of my discussion with some parents of my arabic students yesterday may god strengthen you more and thank you so much amen all right um onora 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 send this one good morning everyone in the studio my name uh Honora from Agbadu Crossing. Partial nudity is purely fully, and this is why we hear of rape cases every now and then. I remember those days uh, when we used to see girls dressed in mini and trousers as irresponsible. Even in some churches, they dress so badly, leaving their breasts open. Okay, who doesn't like the way you dress, you ladies? Okay, okay, who doesn't like the way you ladies are dressed over there in the studio right now? Mm. Do you like? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. You look beautiful. Oh, yes. Come on, come on. Come on. For me, it's the new sexy. Yeah. <laughs> if you see a woman half naked, definitely your world will start <laughs> to rise. Because now, I feel sorry for men. <laughs> 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 Some men wear all those tight things without pants. The set pants and then the thing will be oh. okay. Oh. We need to go with it. All right, Valentine Gabriel. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. has been a full you. conversation. Thank you. That's how we should do this again. I keep talking about it. We'll try to do this again next week. Do have a wonderful day, people. And remember, this has taught you so many lessons. Correct someone out there tomorrow. Don't just walk past and say it's none of my business. If you correct someone and I correct someone and we all air correct someone, the society will become a better place, even though it's one step at a time. Do have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.